Yeah, uh, come to the last game of the uh, of the, the regular season. Uh, looking to finish it strong, and um, really excited about the matchup against USC. Tons of athleticism, speed. I mean, just great talent on the field. You see it on film throughout all their games all year long, and um, you know it's their senior night, so we're, we're expecting the, their best shot. And I, I know they're they're um, still playing for bowl eligibility, so there's a lot to play for in this game. Uh, on their end, there's still a lot to play for on our end. It, this is opportunity for us to get better and to finish the regular season the right way and, and play at our best and uh, looking forward to doing that. I, th I think we'll have a good representation out in Southern California and so looking forward to the matchup, looking forward to the game. We're going to have a lot of fun and, and we have uh, some improvement to make from last week but coming off the bye week I thought the guys um, second half played really well. I we just want to keep that rolling and, and going into this game so uh, I'll take any questions you guys may have. Great. We'll start with Alex and then Jared and Mitch. Go ahead, Alex. Coach, good afternoon. Um, you know, you, you guys obviously are playing Thanksgiving weekend, not Thanksgiving day. Um, but I'm kind of curious, like when there's a game scheduled around a holiday like this, how much do you how much do you kind of as a team take some time to acknowledge each other or kind of, you know, do you have a team dinner or anything like that? Um, seeing as how it's kind of like a holiday weekend and you guys are going to be traveling. Yeah, we'll, we'll uh, practice um, Thursday morning and um, and then have our players go to different places. I mean, most of them um, have a place to go, but uh, they're going to be, we want them in, in a setting around family. So they'll be uh, with coaches, families or with their teammates. Um, and um, just enjoying the, you know, good food and, and good company, and and there'll be a lot of football to watch over the weekend on on Thursday. So I know they'll do that, and it's a good time to just relax and, and to have uh, opportunity to be thankful for a lot of different things that have gone on in their lives. I want them to reflect on that. I think I think our players do it um, often, anyways, and so it's just good that that we can dedicate this time to being focused on on you know wonderful things that we have in life. So. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that, but I imagine they'll eat a lot of food and they'll have two days to recover from it. And in terms of um, this last game of the regular season, you mentioned there are still some things to improve on. Um, what are some of the things that you're kind of focusing on in terms of the way that you guys are playing right now um, and, and what do you feel like maybe there's still some things to tweak or correct or, or what have you? Well, I don't, I don't want to get too general because it's more specific than anything, you know. But uh, finding ways to have our players play consistently well, and and that's assignment sound with great fundamentals and great technique, and so um, it's the stuff that we're always we're always focused on that. But I, I don't want to take away from the majority of the group that's actually doing it right. But this is a great time for us as coaches to, uh, and we've been doing it all year long, but to keep focusing on. On the individual and what they do, what they can do better to improve their game week to week, and then um, you know when you put all that together, it should should have some success for you as a, as a program. So, um, and I hate using a blanket statement to cover everyone when uh, the majority of them are doing well. And some some guys have to improve some technique, body position. Others need to improve in in learning their assignments, and uh, the coaches need to improve too. So we all have individual improvement to make and. Collectively, as a group, it'll, it'll make us better as a as a team. Go ahead, Jared. Kalani, gratitude's always been something important to you, and we've talked about it in in times past. And you know, as we get into this Thanksgiving week, how much does it? How gratifying is it for you to see the boys develop that and develop those skills? You know, just that understanding of the importance of gratitude in their lives. Well, I think it's part of the the values that we have, and then that's the you know humility allows you to to learn. And we've talked about <clears throat> being in a position to increase our our love and our learn for what we do. And so, um, you know, I think uh, you can never say thank you too much. And so, um, want these guys to be focused on that, and and they are a thankful group. And so, uh, they have tons of gratitude the way they've been raised. I just want to keep reminding them why they're here and uh, who they represent. So I, I think uh, 
it's been it's been a lot of fun but i think the world would be a lot better and programs businesses a lot of different groups would be better if we just focus on what we're thankful for and and uh operate that way and i'm lucky to have wonderful young men and, and wonderful people in the athletic department that that are um, focused on being thankful and having a lot of gratitude I also wanted to ask about health. Um, obviously, Peyton Wilgar going down, another another player that you've lost. A- any other updates? And also, what does, what impact does it have? You know, a guy like a Peyton that had been so big for the team. Well, it was a huge impact losing Keenan, um, Keenan Peely, and Keenan Ellis. You know, so uh, we're down some starters and, and some uh, valuable experience, leadership, um, and so the, their leadership still needs to happen so I, I we have guys like James Empey and and um, you know and, and, and Keenan Peely Keenan Ellis are still around available to, to help lead our, our team but uh, Peyton's going to be the same way we just had to make a decision on the timing of everything um, and this felt like it was right and then also I think I mentioned it before that he was just playing with a lot of pain and um, I mean how, how, how much more do you keep making someone do that and this is the right thing to do uh, he, he's more important than, than the game of football to, to us and our program. So uh, we'll, we'll do whatever we can to take care of him. And his role's just changed now. He won't be on, on the field Saturday night, but he can have an impact in the game and have, have an influence on our players. Do you have any update on some of the guys like Neil, some of those guys that you were kind of hadn't, hadn't uh, specified? Yeah, uh, Neil's still... Um, Highly unlikely, unlikely that he's going to play in this game. And uh, same thing with James. Peyton, obviously, not going to play in this game. Um, hoping still for some others that that, that aren't um, that are still in the mix. So, you know, we, we we've had to shift around some pieces. And um, you know, what hurt it hurt having Peyton be out, but but then and Keenan. But then all of a sudden, our, when when Max was out for the targeting, now we we're down to our depth and. Um, those guys did well. I think, I think Ben Bywater and Morgan Piper and Drew Jensen, um, those guys filled in really well and, and made some plays. And um, you know, we just have to we get Max back, so that'll be good for this game. But um, we were going to go into this this game ready to play, and, and, and some young guys, some other guys, will have opportunities to to step up. I'm looking forward to seeing them do that. Coach, if you can get it, what would a second consecutive double-digit regular season mean to you and your program? Oh, I'm just, I'm so focused on trying to get the the guys ready for, the, for being the best they can today, you know. And then uh, the 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 goal is this Saturday. I'm not really worried about the record or anything like that. Just trying to get our team ready to, to perform at our best, and we'll see what happens at the end. But uh, I like our chances if we can do that. That's that's the goal. I'm not really as worried noted, about overall records and things like that. As you noted, coming in, uh, USC's got a lot of athleticism. The record, he doesn't highlight um, that that talent and athleticism. Does it help to have to face a program at the end of the year that's <laughs> a historic brand uh, to keep your players focused and dialed in and, and uh, to ca- close out the season? No, we, we, we respect all, all the opponents that we go against. And, uh it's, it's not like we look at a record and then we think any less of someone. The, the focus is for us to be at our best and play at our best. And, and uh, we, we expect to get every opponent, we expect to get their best shot. We're a ranked team. And so it's not like we're, uh, you know, that we're hiding from anybody. Everybody knows what we're about. They see us on film. Uh, and so we, we anticipated going into, into that Georgia Southern game, anticipating their best shot, uh, you know, winning for their seniors. They wanted to perform at their best and and uh you know we didn't do that in the first half we did that in the second half and, and grateful we got the win but the goal here is to, is to focus on the, what we see on film and that's great athleticism great talent and a team that has a lot to play for and so we're expecting their best shot we need to make sure that they get ours as well okay, we'll have questions from jay drew and then jake well oh, honey with uh, obviously, you're, it looks like you're he- headed to the Independence Bowl, but there's still the outside shot of maybe a New Year's Six game uh, and this college football playoff rankings and how that all pulls into it. Are you talking to your team at all about that? Or are you guys spending any time at all even discussing that? 
What do you think the answer is to that, Jay? <laughs> Probably I mean, not, but um, <laughs> if I could rephrase that, Ben. Okay. What are the stakes? Uh, <laughs> what are the stakes in this game Saturday, as opposed as moving forward to your uh, to your possible postseason destination? Yeah, I, I think the, I mean I'm gonna go back. I think I I'm always gonna say, and you probably sick of hearing me saying it, but guys, that's what we focus on is is the here and now, and and um, you know. I, I know that everyone wants to talk about um, possibilities and, and you know future opponents and things like that, but we're fo focused on this this game and, and this opportunity. Um, that's the best way to, to show gratitude is enjoy the moment, enjoy the day. Why why worry about Tuesday when you have the rest of Monday to to, to focus on? So um, our goal is to try to be razor sharp and focused and 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 have this this vision on taking it day to day with the the long-term goal, which is the game on Saturday night. I, we're looking forward to seeing a bunch of our fans there, and we want to entertain them and, and, and show them a good time. And, and we also want to make sure that we're performing at our best. That's that's the goal. I, I'm, my focus as a head coach is to keep these guys, um, you know, just thinking about the game now and thinking about day-to-day -day improvement. And then I wanted to ask you about going into the Coliseum. The last time BYU went in 2003, I think – was the year after you were a grad assistant uh, there at BYU? I think you had moved on to SUU, but um, but obviously you went there as the youth, as a, with the youths a lot. What are you going to tell your team about it? What's it like going into that to that place? Yeah, it's. I mean, it's a it's a, a, a great event, a, a great place for events, and then obviously for for football, it's it's a place that the guys are used to seeing on TV, and uh, I want them to embrace the setting and. That's the whole point of showing gratitude, having a good time with it, you know, and, and embrace the, the the opportunity that you have to play in that stadium. And then they'll look around and they'll see a lot of blue and, and they'll see uh, all the wonderful, they'll, they'll remember all the wonderful athletes and great talent that have been on that field. And so uh, they can they can add this to their to their list of, of where they play, got to play, and, and that's it's going to be a lot of fun. So that's embrace the moment, have fun with it. Kalani, can you just give us a scouting report of what you see from USC on film? I know they've had some of their bigger players uh, lost for the season, like a Drake London, the receiver, but what do you see from them on film? Tons of talent. There's no lack of talent. They're going to be well coached, and they'll be ready for this game. They, um, you see all the speed on the on the field. I mean, that's a that's a very talented team, and they're well coached. I mean, we they have some some you know former Cougars on their on their staff too so uh, we, we know that that they'll know a little bit more about us and um, I know a lot of guys on that staff that I know how they coach and they'll have the guys ready to roll so I'm um, you know uh, the what you see on film is what you're going to get and, and you're going to get the best of them and, and we're, we're prepared we're going to be prepared for that and also, just a asking you about that, they're a program in transition, looking for a new head coach and all that. How difficult is that, do you think, for guys to be able to understand that this is the last game of the season and their job status is very much up in the air? Well, I think the, the sense of urgency to perform, they know it's coming to an end. I mean, that's how it is everywhere. The, the season's coming to an end and guys want to want to finish strong. That's not just what we're saying it's every program in, in that's playing college football is saying it right now you know so uh, regardless of their record so the the uh, the the anticipation for us is that we're going to get their best and uh, their best is, is is really really good and you see it on film when they put it together man they can be very dangerous and and we have to be prepared for that we, we have to um, plan on that taking place Saturday night We've got questions from Alex and then Caleb. Coach, um, a local kid um, now plays at USC, Jackson Dart. Um, he had his first start, I think, against USC last week. Um, it's possible that he plays against you guys on Saturday. I'm curious kind of what you what you see from him, and, and I think that you guys try to recruit him. Um, so what are the what are the things that, that you kind of might see from, from Jackson Dart in particular? Um, in terms of how he can affect play on the field, yeah, great player. Um, 
you know, we, we recruited him, and, and he's got a wonderful family. Uh, he's been trained really well. He's got great football IQ, good presence on the field. He can hurt you with his arm, and he can run as well. So you put that all together or, and surround him with, with uh, a physical, athletic line and, and capable receivers and, and ball carriers, uh, they have every bit of our attention. And, and knowing that kid and being around him and, and, and talking to him in the recruiting process, he, you know he'll be ready for this. He's, he's a, he's a big-time player. Um, and then looking forward to seeing him, you know, and, and always wishing him the best in every game except for this one. So, uh, but he's a great young man and and, uh, and a, a great talent. And so it'd be it'd be it'd be a lot of fun to to see him on the field and, and to see you know our teams compete. Hey, we got time for uh, question for Mitch at Kalani. Uh, with recruiting, I know games don't necessarily determine recruiting battles or anything like that, but but next to the state of Utah, is Southern California one of those bigger recruiting grounds for you guys? Yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a strong um, a membership in the area, and so, um, you know, then, then there happens to be a lot of great players there um, that, that are members and non-members, so the, the, the talent, football talent is really strong in California, and uh, so we're going to try to find the best players everywhere. We have a good number of our players from the state too, and from Southern California. So um, it's a lot of fun when you get to you know play in front of the local. Uh, you're you know for these guys with with a lot of their friends and families going to be at that game. So it's a lot of fun, and you know regionally we're we're close to them. So um, you know this is this will be something that I, I think the guys are really excited about getting back to Cali and playing this game. And last thing, uh, Kalani, what, what do you credit right now in BYU athletics? There's a lot of momentum, a lot of success, pretty much around the entire athletic department. What do you credit the the success that's suddenly happening for basically every BYU sport right now? There's a lot of there's a lot of really good things happening from the leadership, um, from the administration, from our president, our vice president, and administration, our AD. Um, all that stuff is going really. Well. There's great people that are here working and. Um, you know, on, on campus, and uh, they're just and, and when you combine that with really, really awesome student athletes, uh, your, your teams can have success here at BYU, and those those things are really important. But I'm gonna have to tell you that the the number one thing are the fans. That's a common denom- denominator between all the all the sports, is that you have this unbelievable support from the fans and from our student section. Uh, that that is. Um, it's a huge advantage. I mean, I don't know how many we had in Georgia for that game, but it was above 10,000, and they make a lot of noise, and their their support is unbelievable. And so I think uh, that doesn't get mentioned enough, but the fan base is unbelievable, and um, I think all the sports want to keep their fans happy, and so we're, we're hoping to, to continue doing that. And As a football program, we're hoping to do that in Southern California on Saturday night. It's going to be a lot of fun. Coach, thanks for joining us today, and good luck with your preparations this week. Thanks, guys. Stay safe.